Right, race 7 is a silver cross handicap hurdle on this heavy ground at Aintree. 3 mile hurdle, grade 3 handicap, 1 is Echo Boybell, Alex Cherry, 2 is Flying Higher, Darren Thompson, 3 Nashville Galaxy, Vinnie Gerard, Reckoner, Alex Cherry, 5 is October Sunset, uh, Graham Clatterback, 6 is Cruising by Craig Bethworth, 7 Octopussy, Stu Gray, 8 is Ted Nugent, Graham Clatterback, 9 is Jane Burden, Martin Needham, and 10 is Trick Fantasy, Liam from Hays with the likely front runner, Ted Nugent. He led the way in the World Hurdle last week. Let's see how they go yeah, in the Silver Cross Handicap Hurdle, and away they go. And quickly away, Ted, Ted Nugent, and Ted Nugent goes to the front from Stable Companion October Sunset. Then comes Cruz and Bar for Craig Betworth. On the inside is Echo Bell with Nashville Galaxy on the outside of Trick Fantasy. Uh, four wide at this stage is Reckoner, and travelling even further wide is Flying is uh, Flying Higher, or is Jane Burden actually for Martin Eden. Flying Higher is on the outside of Jane Burden at the back of the field, the grey octopusy. So Ted Nugent takes him along. For Graham Clutterbuck from Vinnie Gerald in second with in those green colours, Nashville Galaxy on the inside of that is October Sunset for Graham Clutterbuck. In between horses is Zacco Bell for Alex Cherry. They're followed by Trick Fantasy. On the outside of that is Reckoner for Alex Cherry. They pass the... Well, they pass the stands. They pass the big screen. They've, they've already passed the stands and they're going off on their second circuit here as Ted Nugent takes them along for Graham Clutterbuck from Echo Bell in second. October Sunset on that one's inside. Then comes Vinnie Gerald's Nashville Galaxy. The Reckoner, the second Alex Cherry horse back in fifth. Trek Fantasy is on the rail. Uh, on the outside of that is Cruz on Bar with Jane Burton. That one's outside. Then Octopussy at the back of the field with Flying Higher for Darren Thompson. Also standing here in the hurdle as T Ted Nugent bowls along in front about five lengths clear of Alex Cherry's Echo Bell. They jump the next. And a faller there, Trick Fantasy is gone. Leaving nine horses in the race as Ted Nugent still continues to lead in front from Echo Bell and at Reckoner, the stable companion. The two orange cap and orange leaves horses of Alex Cherry that jump the next. Vinnie Gerald's horse, uh, Nashville Galaxy, in between those two on the rail. We have the second Graham Clutterback horse, October Sunset. Jane Burden traveling wide for Martin Needham. Cruise and Barn, that one's inside. Uh, on the inside there is Flying High and Octopussy the Grey at the back of the field for Stu Grey. So Ted Nugent still leads for Graham Clutterbuck from Echo Bell in second. Reckoner is on the outside of Nashville Galaxy. Then comes October Sunset, cruising by and there's Blue Body and the White Cap for Craig Beck with his four wide at this stage. Jade Burden even further wide, Flying Higher. Behind some horses now on the outside of Octopussy at the back of the field. They start to pack up a bit. There's only about six or seven lengths first to loss as Ted Nugent slows it up in front. So Ted Nugent from Echabell and Reckoner. In between those two is Nashville Galaxy in those green colours. Cruise on by for Craig Berkworth. is four wide. Caught behind horses now October Sunset. Then comes uh, Jane Burden on the inside, outside of Flying Higher. And Octopussy at the Grey has always been near the rail. So Ted Nugent still the leader for Graham Clutterbuck from Reckoner has now moved up into second. Nashville Galaxy is on the outside of this first uh, Alex Cherry horse, uh, Cruise on by, or uh, Echo Bell. Cruise on by is actually on the outside. Jane Burden, four wide, still flying high, and that one's inside, then Octopussy, and on the rail is October Sunset. So Ted Nugent takes him along, jumps the next from Cruz and Bar now moved up into second. Nashville Galaxy on that one's inside. Then comes Echo Bell and Reckoner. Jane Burden on the outside of that. Then comes Flying High and there's Marie Cousin and the White Sleeves for Darren Thompson. Octopussy the Grey Horse for Stu Grey behind that as they pass the big screen in the winning post and head off on their final circuit and it's Ted Nugent to still leads. About two lengths clear of Cruz and Bar moved up into second. Jane Burden has always travelled wide from Nashville Galaxy now on his inside. Up the inside Echo Bell passes both of those and Double companion Reckoner on the outside of National Galaxy. October Sunset, the second Graham Clutterback horse, is on the inside of the grey uh, Octopussy. Then flying higher and there's maroon colours and Jane Burden has dropped to the back of the field now for Martin Liam. It's gone the longest way, got about four or five way wide the whole journey. So it's Ted Nugent still leads for Graham Clutterback from Cruise and Bye for Craig Beckworth in second, a length further back to Echo Bell in third for Alex Cherry with Reckoner on the outside of Nashville Galaxy. October Sunset moving up up the inside for Graham Clutterbuck. Flying High is creeping closer for Darren Thompson in those maroon colours. Jane Burden still this wide passage and Octopussy has switched from the rail to about four or five wide trapped in by Jane Burden as a stage. So Ted Nugent with seven photos left to travel. Two lengths clear of Cruz and Bayern second. On the rail, October Sunset is creeping into it. Nashville Galaxy on that one's outside. Flying higher is back in fifth. And in between horses, Reckoner and Echo Bell are trying to move forward. Octopus is now in the clear, but five wide. And Jane Burden saw this wide passage for Martin Needham. It's Ted Nugent 
Kuz and Vi. And Octopus is making a forward move now for Stu Gray. October Sunset up the inside, also trying to get forward. He's about six in line in third as a field packed by Ted Nugent, who seems to be stacking them up. It's Ted Nugent with two, for, two lengths clear of Kuz and Vi in second. October Sunset moving forward strongly now for Graham Clutterbuck. Octopus is getting going with Nashville Galaxy. Um, Jane Burns going to wide way the whole time. That's probably going to tell later on in the race. It's still Ted Nugent in front, though, from Cruz and Vi as they start to turn for home. Ted Nugent uh, between horses of reckon as moving forward with Octopussy. Up, up the rail is um, October Sensor. Jane Burden, that white passage is starting to tell. He's starting to fade out of it. It's still Ted Nugent, though. Ted Nugent from Octopussy and October Sensor. Then National Galaxy. Cruz and Vi has gone backwards. It's Ted Nugent still in front from Octopussy and October Sunset. Nashville Galaxy is trying to get going. Cruz and Vi hit that flat spot. He's trying to rally. But it's Ted Nugent as a dump the next. And Ted Nugent just going great guns in front. He's never seen a rival, Ted Nugent. And he's well clear of Nashville Galaxy. Ted Nugent for Graham Clutterbuck. Then he's not for catching. He's starting to drill further clear as he jumps the next. Ted Nugent has led them a merry dance in front. And he's going further clear as they come to the line. It's all Ted Nugent. Yeah. Ted Nugent wins very easily in the Silver Cross handicap for Graham Clutterbuck. Octopus is trying to run on with Nashville Galaxy, but they're chasing shadows. Yeah, Ted Nugent, the jockey looks around. Very easy winner indeed for Graham Clutterbuck with Ted Nugent who wins the Silver Cross handicap. Nashville Galaxy was second. Third was Octopussy for Stu Gray. I think Cruz and Bar might have got fourth. I confirm there's minor places though. But no doubt about the winner. Won very easily. Never saw a rival. Ted Nugent wins for Graham Clutterbuck from National Galaxy in second. Octopussy was third for Stu Gray. October Sunset was actually fourth. And Cruz and Bar fifth for Craig Beckwith.